Welcome back, everyone. Thanks so much for tuning in. This week's project is a bowl made from flame box elder. Stay tuned, because it looks pretty dang cool. In this first scene, I'm just using my Thompson Tools 5 8 inch bowl gouge. And I'm just truing up the sides here. And here, I'm just ensuring that the bottom of the bowl is flat. So, somewhere along the line, I misplaced the footage of me forming the tenon of this. Either that or the camera shut off, I'm not entirely sure. Anyway, uh, I decided to turn this around before forming the bottom of the bowl. I'm not entirely sure why I thought that was a good idea, but here we are. <laughs> Now that I've got that step finished, I'm just flattening off the top of the bowl here, and then I'll start forming the inside of it. And while I'm forming the inside of the bowl here, I'd like to give a shout out to Louie over at Spindles Workshop, formerly Woodworking 220-7. Not sure if I'm saying that right, but okay. <laughs> Louie is a fantastic artist, and I highly recommend you check out his channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for the sticker, Louie. I appreciate it. Also, guys, keep sending me stickers. I love getting them. And I also love sending them out. So hit me up. All right, so here I'm just finishing up the rough turn of this bowl. And now, here it is, a little over a year and a half later. And look at the figure in this wood. It's so cool. In this scene, I'm just chewing up the bottom of the bowl. Here I'm just doing a couple little sheer scrapes to give it a nice finish. And then we're on to the inside of the bowl. Just doing several light passes here to even up the sides. And then here I'm just flattening the bottom of it. And then filling some holes with some CA glue and sawdust. In this scene, I'm using my one inch scraper and then I'm flattening the bottom with my Easywood Tools square cutter to flatten the bottom, make sure it's entirely flat. And then I guess I got a little too crazy with the scraper because the holes are back, so I'm <laughs> refilling those in. And then one more pass with the one inch scraper and we're on to sanding. For this bowl, I sanded 80 through 320. and then some denatured alcohol and Mylan sanding sealer. In this scene, I have it reverse mounted and I'm just finishing the foot of the bowl. And you can see me checking a couple times just to make sure that I have enough clearance on the foot of the bowl so it clears, so it has a nice resting spot for the bowl. And one last time for the sanding, final coat of sanding sealer. And then I finish this bowl off with some Obi's Shine Juice. And there you have it. A bowl made from flame box elder. Guys, Mother Nature never ceases to amaze me. The figure in this wood is incredible. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing. Be sure to like and comment below. Stay awesome, everyone. Love to all.